tonight, the worst job I ever loved gets down and dirty with the ladies of the underworld. They dig for history by hand in a sticky, slimy, greasy mess. And CBS 2's Dave Malkoff joined in at the La Brea Tar Pits. Oh, Alan Hancock had a tar pit. E -I -E -I -O. Meet Charlie Cox. Oh, I've been working in the tar pits all the long day. Official banjo player to the La Brea Tar Pits. Uh, we're going into Pit 91, the only active excavation at uh, Rancho La Brea. Charlie's the land dweller. I die. Oh, I love digging these fossils up. Right here's a saber tooth cat toe. And these are the women of the underworld. Turtle shell. There's a turtle shell, piece of turtle shell right here. And yes, it's only dirty ladies down here. Oh, shut up. Radius. Why that is? No one really knows. It's really meticulous work, so it takes a lot of patience, so that might be one reason why. But it, it wasn't always like that. When it first reopened in 1969, it was pretty much all men. Every moment they're here in pit 91 looking for bones, Laura's over there making sure the pit doesn't flood. Spare no expense here. That smells bad. So really, how <laughs> dirty does it get? I'm wearing a white t-shirt here, <laughs> but it's not gonna be white for long. That's because before you pump the water out, <laughs> you gotta grab some gooey asphalt. We have to glop every day and scoop it up and out. Oh, wow. Isn't it cool, though? That's like wet taffy. Yes. Oh, oh boy. The same stuff that used to trap the saber tooth and prehistoric dire wolf. Isn't it fun? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is the only way to get it off your hand? Oh, man. Oh, don't get it on your arm as much as you can. Oh, don't wipe your arm. I'm trying to wipe it off somehow. It oh, work. it's okay. Ancient bones are still stuck here. Like the right transverse process of a saber-toothed cat vertebra or something like that. Yeah, what she said. That saber-toothed cat. There was that one time with that one guy who started sinking. And he was trying to get something out and um, went too far in and couldn't pull himself <laughs> back out. Did a saber-toothed tiger come running after him? I'm sorry, saber-toothed cat, don't say tiger. <laughs> Oopsie. Despite all the greasy work and ruined jeans. So we have to bring a change of clothes after work every day. These paleo experts show up every day. So they have to catalog every single piece of this. Yep. The first humans ever to touch these bones. And you're like, ah, that's awesome. As the curious look down, the dig that began in 1915 continues. We think we're slowly getting to the end of it. Still, this pit's tar has plenty of secrets that need to be delicately uncovered. Go very, very carefully and very, very slowly. My first idea would just be to grab one and oh, just yes. yank, it and yank it and pull it out to go, and then, oh, I found a bone! And then we dump you in the sump tank <laughs> over there. Maybe that's why there's no guys down here asking the same four lame questions. The tar is not hot. Do we find dinosaurs? There's no dinosaurs. We are not grad students. We are not grad students. And we're not animatronic figures. Yes. <laughs> so every day, Charlie keeps picking, and Laura? I just have to do that spot, and 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 that spot. Laura keeps glopping. Her extra it's goop gets chain lifted out. Wait till you try carrying up by hand, and I'm giving you the lightest bucket. Or carried up and out. Hopefully it's not going to spill down my pants onto your head, and then you'll have to shave your head tonight. No. It's a lot easier with the chain. A lot tidier, too. Blech. Spill it into the next pit and they're ready to dig another day. The mechanics degreaser is about the only thing that can get this stuff off your skin, but basically nothing gets it off your clothes, right? Yeah. They don't even change their clothes out here. I have been wearing these pants for about three months now. They just wear it until the next day. At the La Brea Tar Pits, I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News. <laughs> Okay, that was a good one. Well, if you have a job that everyone thinks is terrible, but you love it, we want to hear all about it. You can email us at dave at cbs2.com slash dave. We're talking, I don't know if Dave was dirty or... Or they just thought he was strange, the way that girl moved over when he, <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Well, she hadn't changed her pants in three months, so... Yeah, yeah the one on the far side. <laughs> you know what? And, and she thought he was bad. Yeah. I mean, that was something wrong there, really. Mm -hmm. And they did it in unison. I mean, <laughs> move. Uh, we pick up on stuff like That's that. That's a good All stuff. All right, we got a Sunday night here. You know what? We've had some cold temperatures. We're going to be taking a look at that. The Santa Anna condition is pretty much over.